Kentucky Fried Christian, Ken Ham on Rye. Let's do this. So here in Seattle, we have an independent newspaper called The Stranger. You can get it for free at pretty much any restaurant or store or wherever. It's mostly music and pop culture news, but they also have a section in here called Last Days, where they talk about current events. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little surprised nobody else picked up on this one, but they're talking about Ken Ham from Answers in Genesis. Wednesday, August 10th. Today in government-sanctioned hallelujahs, officials in Kentucky are offering a religious group a 30-year, 75% property tax break on 800 acres of land to build a for-profit Bible theme park. The taxes would normally be used to finance local public schools. Instead, they'll help build a full-size wooden replica of Noah's Ark, reports the Lexington Herald Leader. To refresh your memory, Noah's Ark was 300 by 50 by 30 cubits, Genesis 6.15, essentially making it the size of a boozeless mid-range carnival cruise ship beached on $150 million worth of deeply discounted Kentucky land. Winners in this deal include boat lovers, Bible readers, and the Answers in Genesis, the for-profit organization overseeing the project, and whose previous work includes the Creation Museum, another Kentucky-based theme park that explains how God created the Earth 10,000 years ago and why dinosaurs were a prank pulled by the Jews. Losers include the next few generations of Kentucky schoolchildren. No fucking shit. They spent how much money on this? on a religion theme park? Money that could go to people who actually need it? (sighs) Seriously, Kentucky, what's wrong with you? You're going to spend all this money on a theme park? A for-profit theme park? Are you going to get anything back? What do you want to bet this thing will make so much money it'll qualify as rich and therefore ineligible to pay taxes? Does separation of church and state mean nothing to you people? Seriously? (sighs) I mean, okay, if this thing actually pulled in a profit that would finance something through taxes, I'd still not be okay with it. Separation of church and state. Seriously, come on, people. Especially since Answers in Genesis, as I understand it, is a fairly decently run organization for a religious group. I'm sure they've got the funds for this. Honestly, we really ought to be a lot more outraged by this, and I want to thank the stranger for telling me about it. Honestly, people, we YouTube atheists ought to be outraged by this. But as far as I can tell, I'm the only one who's mentioned it. Are we all running on automatic instead of thinking ourselves? Because you know I'm against that. Until next time, fellow space travelers. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. You might also enjoy my webcomic, The Adventures of Kinira Baxter. You'll find a link in the info bar, along with a link to my Zazzle store. Buy a t-shirt today! Stalin, Mao, Pol Pot, you know what they all had in common? They didn't rate, comment, or subscribe.